uh, it's been many years since I've I've read the postmodern philosophers, but I I have drawn some sort of line in my head between some of the some of the basic insights of postmodernism and you know particularly like Hans Georg Gadamer and sure, her- hermeneutics sure. and stuff like that 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 had a certain humility of trying to figure out what people meant when they said certain words right. and 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 suggesting that that words have context and it's not it's not simple and objective the way that that we might think about it versus critical theory which says nothing's true and it yeah. is what I say it is. Or it's nothing's true except for our ideological beliefs that we've imported uh, as priors into the system. That's the, the critical theory approach. And I think this really comes to the roots of critical theory as an offshoot of Marxism. Uh, so in the 1930s, there's a, um, a group of Western Marxists, so they're outside of the Soviet Union sphere, but they're adherents of this, uh, this system of thought, this ideology, uh, grows up around the University of Frankfurt. And what they do is they try to, to, to parse the history of philosophy into two sets of theories. Uh, it's a traditional theory, which is descriptive. It often poses as empiricism in their, uh, uh, their version of it. Uh, but they say tra- traditional theory upholds the ruling class, upholds the people in power. Critical theory, they claim, is emancipatory, and they mean emancipatory is in liberating the proletariat, liberating the oppressed class, overthrowing the traditional theory. And it's really, what it does is it infuses the way that uh, this approach to philosophy even asks questions. Uh, It's not, are we trying to describe the world as it is? It's, what are we trying to do to change the world? And conveniently, they have this guy, this bearded German guy named Karl Marx that has all the answers ready for them uh, that they've just embraced as like it's a a scientific truth that the world is is bending toward. And their goal as academics is to... uh, basically engage in scholarship that promotes this so-called truth that they've embraced already from Marxism. But it's 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 political in the sense Absolutely. that there's good guys and bad guys. So it's not it's not one set of rules applied to everybody equally at all. Right, right. It's uh we can engage on our side if we're a critical theorist uh, because we're uh, we've we've already made the decision to seek an emancipatory goal, to seek a liberationist goal and done so through our scholarship, through political means, through uh, activist approaches to whatever question we happen to be studying, uh, they they treat that as that gives them uh, basically a moral superiority over people that are upholding traditional theory. Uh, Traditional theory is said to be descriptive in the way it presents itself, but is really seen as like, uh, it's almost like a conspiracy theory approach that they take to it. They say that traditional theory is really just upholding the ruling class, holding old power hierarchies and because of that it is morally unworthy of even being given a, a level playing field of consideration 